Hi everyone, welcome. Warm welcome. My name is Thierry Browers, also known as Superlite. Um, I'm a visionary leader, I'm a, a father, I'm a writer, I'm a lot of things. I suffer of something called the multi personality disorder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, I have that too. <laughs> since I was a child, I was very shy actually. I would never be able to speak in front of an audience like I'm doing. So, a little practice, I'm getting better at it. Um, but Questions I always ask myself, nobody could really answer. Uh, school never really made sense to me, and church certainly didn't make sense to me. So I had to find my answers within, and that's the only way I could really um, make sense in this world. So it's been a, quite an adventure. I'm 42 years old, and uh, I'm studying every day. Uh, I don't spend my time on TV, I don't watch sports. I do practice sports. I like to stay fit because I care about my body, my vehicle that helps me to transport myself through this dimensional level, um, but I always research and um, I understand not everybody has as much time as I do, so I simplify the knowledge and I share, um, because I think that's the most important thing we can do nowadays, is to give rather than just receive. It has to go both ways. So um, this is my mission. It's, um, it's to help people to get knowledge, because I believe that everybody suffers of a lack of knowledge, and then they have a problem making decisions, especially when they buy um, products. Every purchase is a vote. So when you don't know which product to, to purchase, there's some that are healthy, some that are not healthy, but um, getting the knowledge helps us to, uh, to kind of make better decisions for ourselves, to apply this to our lives, but also to educate the people that depend on us, especially the children nowadays. I'm not going to go through the details about children, but um, if you want to check my YouTube videos about cereals, and cereals, um, there's been a recall since 2005, but never been taken care of. They actually put shavings of iron metal in the cereals. There's a very simple way to find this. Uh, you take a bowl of water, you put cornflakes or whatever cereals, those very colorful, tasty, sweet things, and you put a magnet next to it, and you'll see the cereal would be attracted to it. Why? Because it's metal in it. It's not supposed to be in the food. This is not food for us, especially for children. There's a reason for it, so check my video. And why do they put that? There's many reasons. Um, I could say that it, um, it, it creates an interference in the body, and um, when you send in frequencies um, to manipulate, it helps, also helps that too. It also calcifies the pineal gland. The pineal gland is... Uh, it's right here, it's called also known as the third eye. And the pineal gland uh, is help us to be uh, consciously aware of what's going on. So when the pineal gland is calcified, you cannot be aware. You just absorb everything as being dumb. So everything that's projected on TV and this false reality is believed as what it is. Because you cannot be conscious and receive some other type of information. I'm talking about light intelligent information or cosmic in information. That's many informations out there. Talking about the direct communication with the creator, with the creation, calling yeah, yeah. God or the gathering of deities. So today, so what what do we the YouTube uh, video? What will we Google if we want to see the exact one you're talking uh, about? Metal in cereal. Metal in cereal yeah. and your name? Yes. Well, in this video, I'm gonna post uh, notes, so that's gonna be linked into those videos. So no worries, uh, you'll be contacted. I'll send you links and everything. Okay. Um, anyways, today the uh, purpose of the lecture is actually to talk to you about free radicals and antioxidants. Because we are in a tea place, this is called the Project Mate Bar. And uh, it's, a, it's a tea that's originally from, uh, from Brazil. And that's very rich in antioxidants. So I do promote um, businesses like this that help people to feel better and, and live better lives. So to understand about antioxidants and free radicals is very simple. The earth is negatively charged. It's all about energy, yin and yang, hot, cold, up and down, positive, negative, male and female. The earth is negatively charged. The atmosphere is positively charged. Okay? And we are here. We are also negatively charged because we come from earth. Our material body, a biological machine made of flesh and bones, is actually made from earth. All the elements comes from earth. Uh, material being. A tree is the same thing. You see the root? Uh, a plant, a flower. Everything is negatively charged, that is linked directly to the earth. 
So a bird would be the same thing. Although a bird flies over the, the land, it lands sometimes and it, it grounds itself to the earth, which is negatively charged. So the atmosphere is positively charged. That means free radicals. When we breathe oxygen, it's oxidizing. When a fruit falls down from the ground, what it does, it recycles itself because of the positively charged free radicals that oxidize that fruit to recycle to something else. Because the earth takes this, this material and convert it to another vital life force that is necessary for the earth, everything that comes from earth to grow again. It's the same thing with us. If we are not loving and, and vital, if we don't have vitality in it, in, in us, the earth is just going to start to recycle us. And that's how we become couple and we actually, you know, recycle. <laughs> so it's important to stay alive, stay vibrant, implement exercise in our life, lift weight, um, be active, get off the couch and do something uh, for the planet, for, for humanity and for yourself. Um, and certainly be active in your mind because what you think is what you become. So anyway, um, Free radicals come from other things. What is a free radical exactly? A free radical is an atom with electrons around it, but it's very unstable. It's missing electrons. So when it enters your body, the first thing it does is search for any healthy cells to steal an electron from it. It's a scavenger. That's the worst thing that can happen to your body, basically. And where free radicals come from? Well, from the air, but also from cooking oil. That's when you cook oil, any type of oil, no exception, you actually create free radicals. <laughs> so when you eat food that is made from cooked oil, you actually eat free radicals. Now this free radical takes an electron from your healthy cell. Now your healthy cell becomes a free radical because now it's missing an electron. And that is going to scavenge all the cells. It creates a domino effect. And it's very, very bad because it accelerates the aging process and creates all type of health alignments. Um, well, I had a question and I forgot it. Let's, let's put the questions at the end of the lecture because okay. when we have 25 minutes on the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's one way to, uh, to satisfy those free radicals to leave your healthy cells alone is called antioxidants. And that's why this tea is very good for you. And that's why some other type of foods like blueberries, blackberries, acai, you probably heard of that. Uh, they contain extra electrons around the atoms. So when you eat those foods, you actually provide those free electrons to the free radicals. Does that make sense to you? There's another way to get free radicals from, from the Earth. Again, the Earth is negatively charged. So when you ground yourself, and our grandparents, uh, ancestors used to do that all the time. They used to wear leather shoes, which was actually conductive. But nowadays, we, we wear plastic shoes. I wear plastic shoes, but that's okay. I spend at least an hour every day on the beach, barefoot, and I run on the water. That means I, I absorb the electrolyte negative ions from the earth to my body. And what it does, it just replenish not only the negative ions, but also get rid of all the free radicals. It's a, the best way to uh, get rid of, uh, or to detoxify, basically. So if people are not fortunate to live by the beach, you can go by the park. You know, when, when you're exhausted, what the, what's the first thing you do? You actually get closer to the earth, right? Mm -hmm. You sit down, and if you're really exhausted, you lay down, right? You just crash on the earth. And what's happening, you actually lay down on the earth, and you actually absorb those, those electrolyte free uh, uh, negative ions. So when you say the hug a tree? Hug a tree, that's a wonderful thing. Hug a tree connects you with the negative charge. The best way to absorb those electrolytes is from the barefoot. Because the, 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 the palm of the fruit is actually the best um, absorption device for your body. But anyway, you can lay down, even on the towel, on the beach, you will absorb this. You can check also on YouTube, there was some uh, experiments that was done by uh, this gentleman who was holding a multi, uh, multivolt meter and uh, conduct himself outside, inside the homes, and do all type of different experiments. It lays down on the uh, conductive mattress, um, and, and you can see that the voltage is very reduced now, the free radicals also come from EMF, or uh, you know those electric lines that we see on the street? When you stand right underneath there, you're actually charged by free radicals, positive ions. Watching TV, uh, computer laptops, uh, cell phones, those are loaded with, uh, with free radicals, positive ions charged. 
You see? So we are bombarded all the time. And what it does, it just disrupts the, uh, the ammonic structure of our body. So because we are negatively charged. Uh, toxins, all type of toxins, breathing pollution or eating junk foods, um, creates the negative, uh, positive ions also to the body. So there's another way to, um, to heal yourself from those free radicals is drinking uh, negatively charged water. So I promote this. Actually, it's my own brand. It's called the Water Power Elixir. This is from Idea Clarity, enhanced with M-state elements, also known as ORMs. That stands for Orbitary Rearranged Monatomic Elements. You probably heard of ORMs. Or Feathers of a Storm. This is chi, prana, life force, energy, concentrated liquid form. You put in the water uh, a small amount, and uh, that will turn the water into a negatively charged uh, substance. So I'll show you what it does very simply. Uh, this is water, okay. and we have all types of contaminants in it. We have lead, fluoride, you know fluoride's not good for you guys. It's not good for the teeth. This is a whole BS thing. Excuse my language. Uh, fluoride has been used, uh, it's actually used as a poison against rats. Mm. It's been used also during Second World War to control the masses, to make them submissive to orders. Uh, fluoride has been put in water to, I believe, and many others, millions of people, People that are aware, awakened, open-minded, that understand what's going on in the world. Because this, you know, the bigger the lie, the more people believe. But there's a truth out there, and that's what we are seeking. I'm a truth seeker. I'm a truth expert. I'm a vitalist expert, and that's what I do. I spend my time in talking with people that are like-minded, in understanding how the world is working and how we can fit in into all this nonsense. Okay, so water has fluoride in it. And it's not meant for our health. Sodium fluoride is very unhealthy. It also calcifies the planet gland. Lead, mercury, arsenic, and all that. In Arizona, there's a high level of arsenic over there. And people use Kangen machines. <clears throat> you can uh, check on YouTube the myth about alkaline water. Kangen is not good for you. All those alkaline water things, it's totally a myth. Because first of all, the cancer cell is actually alkaline. A healthy cell is acidic. Everything in our body is acidic. So when you drink alkaline water, you actually disrupt the gastric acids, which is 2.8 pH. You cannot, turn, you cannot turn your pH level by drinking alkaline water. That doesn't work this way. The, the, the body has many pH levels. There's about 15 or 20 of them. Our skin is 5.4, gastric acid 2.8. I mean, every organ in our body has different pH. And what we're looking for is blood that, that is alkaline. That's the only one that would be alkaline over, over 7. But everything else has to be acidic, including the, the pH of our saliva and the pH of our urine. If you check Dr. Carol Rims, who used to be a student from Dr. Uh, Albert Einstein, the guy has seven PhDs. He's a totally genius. Dr. Carol Rims, right here? That's on the YouTube video. <laughs> How do you spell it? All right. C A R E Y R E M S. He had developed a, a a system called the bioionization ionization because ionization is the conversion of a substance into something else and that's what the body does like people believe they have to eat proteins to get big right look at me I don't eat meat I haven't eaten meat forever I eat meat once in a while to socialize with my mom or parents or something like that um, but I just come from the gym and I'm getting big these muscles are building out of thin air because I'm fasting for about four weeks now, it's been a month, I don't eat much. I eat maybe one or two fruits a day, and I'm getting bigger. I'm mm. getting body mass. Wow. I am inspiring the world to let you know, everyone, that we don't have meat. Meat is not a life force. Meat is not healthy for you. We are not carnivores, we are herbivores. A carnivore has the length of a stomach that is seven times the size of a torso, and the mouth is going like this, okay? A herbivore goes like this. Can we do that? Yes, we can. We are herbivores. This, the length of our torso is 16 times. The same size as all the herbivores on this planet. We are not carnivores. Leave those animals alone. <laughs> please. <laughs> Anything that has eyes and mouth, mom and dad, please leave them alone. You know? I don't want to eat. Would I eat you? No, eat me? No. no it's, how about cow's milk? How about dog's milk? How about cat's milk? You want to drink cat's milk? And then why do you drink cat dog milk? I mean, it's... Milk is the worst thing to do too. Milk contains HGF-1, I'm talking about cow's milk. That's what makes a 60 pound cow to become a 600 pound, uh, 60 pound calf to become 600 pound cow. 
It's very healthy for the human body. The body has a very hard time to digest this food. It's not food for humans, it's food for the cows. <laughs> anyway, um, so Karim's developed this uh, technology called biosationization, and he came up with the perfect health, which is common sense um, here. YouTube video, because I don't remember. <laughs> so he says that the pH of saliva and urine should be 6.4, which is acidic. So, I mean, it's very interesting. Uh, the uh, water ionizing process, or electrolysis ionizing, they call it those Kangen machines, were not meant originally for human consumption. They were developed in Japan to sanitize hospitals a long time ago. And because of the ignorance of people, and people want to take advantage of them, because of greed and money, of course, we live in a society that is blocked in the, the first three chakras. Ego, money, and power. Sex, money, power, ego, basically. That's what it is. They're blocked right here. And we have to unlock this potential. We have to unlock ourselves and receive the... Be kind to one another. Don't believe that we read one book and we know everything. I read a book every day, and the more I read, the less I know. So anyway, water has all those contaminants. And when you put this... Uh, this liquid formula, I call it liquid crystal or gold. This contains all the minerals from planet Earth in ionic state. What is ionic state? It's, this is Earth. When a planet grows, it takes the minerals of the soil, which is colloidal size or atomic size and convert them into ionic size or Armstrong size. The difference is 10,000 times the size. I, was, I do private lectures. People, you know, they hire me. I go to their house and I explain all this, this chart and etc. And I was with this gentleman the other day. He's on the wheelchair. And he's, you know, he heard about me and he called me. And uh, so I go to his house and I say, OK, let me sh show me what you are taking your supplements. The first thing he shows me is colloidal minerals. I'm like, Okay, so I explained this to him. It's like when you take coral meal, it's like you eat soil. Okay, it's like you chew on sand compared to chewing on salt. It cannot dissolve in your body. It's too big. It cannot penetrate in the cells and tissues. It's you contaminate yourself with heavy metals, basically. So the plant convert those coral meals into ionic meals. Those are the meals that's meant for us. 10,000 times smaller. That's a huge difference. Now you, that you eat plant-based living foods, which is sun-powered, enzyme-rich foods that is living. We are living beings. We don't eat, we don't meant to eat dead foods, but living foods. It just makes sense. It's all about energy. Dr. Karim says it's not about the food that we eat. It's about the energy in the food that we can assimilate. Now, Professor Arnold Eret, actually I'm an advocate for him now, and you'll see on the business card, uh, he developed this system called the mucusless diet healing system. Uh, he passed away about 60 years ago, but he left a trace and this heritage of this amazing book. I highly recommend if you want Amazon three bucks. Please get one of those. Um, I'm going to buy a lot, so next time I have some to offer you. Uh, but he basically tells us that health is nothing else. Vitality is nothing else than the power minus obstruction. Vitality is the life force energy, right? The power is what the ether, is what we breathe, the space between you and I. Obstruction is the food, accumulated food that gets stuck in our body because it's not meant to be eat this type of food. I'm talking about processed food, meats, dairy products, especially cheese. Everything you see in the market today in food, in restaurants, advertisement, uh, is cheese. <laughs> cheese is nothing else than processed, um, pasteurized plastic foods, okay? Because when you cook food over 350 degrees, over five hours, the food turns into plastic. The oil turns into plastic. So when you eat this food, it, it goes around the cell, and the cell gets suffocated. It cannot breathe, it cannot resonate, it cannot vibrate anymore. And when you lose the voltage of your cell, you become sick. And you'll see on the graph, right here, on the uh, human voltage graph, that a healthy cell has to be between minus 30 millivolts to minus 100 millivolts. I'll show it right here. You see? To a cell to be able to rejuvenate has to be able to reach minus 50 millivolts. If it cannot reach minus 50 millivolts, you get sick. Because the cell cannot duplicate itself. 
And if the cell is sick, it will duplicate a, a sick cell, just like the Earth. The Earth protects itself very well. Mother Earth, when it sees a tree that becomes sick, you know what it does? It sends a signal, a frequency to that tree. That tree resonates this frequency out, and the beetles with the antennas, they, they capture this signal, and they go over there to destroy it. That's Mother Earth's way to protect itself from the tree to duplicate sick seeds, therefore sick trees. You understand? I, I, I miss something. When Mother Earth to protect itself, when it senses that a tree is sick, it doesn't want that tree to make seeds that are sick. So it goes out of this way to, to, make, to create a, a frequency to that tree. Then it resonates out. The beetles, the dark beetles, when they have a big problem wow. with California, they think they are invested by uh, dark black beetles. Mm -hmm. They should leave them alone. This is way of nature of recycling itself. Mm -hmm. They put pesticide, herbicide, and all that stuff. When you put herbicide, herbicide on crops, what you do is you destroy all the worms in the soil. The worms are necessary because when they go down the, the soil, they actually lubricate. Behind them creates a hard tunnel that helps the rain to irrigate deep down the soil. Mm. And when the rain is, it's not just water, it's actually negative ion charge called exclusion zone. Check Dr. George Pollack, who discovered about the exclusion zone around the water, because when water, which is neutral, is in contact with sunlight, it creates a zone around it which is negatively charged. So when it rains, the drop spins around itself, create a friction with the positively charged atmosphere in contact with the light, create this exclusion zone negatively charged, and goes down to the soil because of those worms' tunnels. If there's no worms, there's no tunnels. We only get flood because the water can't go down. It will get deep down the soil and nourish the, the, the electricity that the soil needs to rejuvenate. You see, it goes deep. Huh? <laughs> so, do you understand about this? Vitality is power minus obstruction. When you eliminate obstruction, you get vitality, you get power. You get, this is, this is me. This is no obstruction here. Eliminate all the accumulated waste since you were born because your parents didn't know any better. They feed you with cereals, bread, dairy, products, and meats. They get stuck in here. And you get stuck, and you get stuck, and you get stuck. So the more you eat, the more you get stuck. And you see people, men with bellies, they're actually pregnant. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Think about it. What is this? It's accumulated waste. They are walking with garbage sewage in yeah, the body. Yeah, yeah. They just go back in the bloodstreams and they wake up late at night, right? They don't follow the rhythm, the circadian rhythms. That means when the body is ready to release, it cannot release because they're too lazy to wake up and it gets back in the body, goes back in the brain, and these people are asked to vote. If your body is not clean, clean your gut to, you know, clean your gut before you can think correctly. You can't make a wise decision if your body is toxic. People have skin cancer, they wonder why. I got a lot of sun a couple of days ago, and I work uh, in a restaurant, that's how I make money. So I don't have to pressure you in buying my products, because I'm okay, I'm, I'm making my money, right? But a gentleman said, wow, you got a lot of sun, I got, I got a lot of skin cancer since I was a child. Right? So I educate him a little bit, I don't want to talk too much about this, because you know I'm serving foods, and this is not my purpose. But I kind of educate here and there to kind of attract them and, and be open-minded. But skin cancer is nothing else than the toxics that comes from inside, that comes out from sweat. And the burning heat from the sun is actually uh, burning a chemical. And that creates the cancer in the skin. So me, personally, because I'm not toxic, I can spend hours and hours and days in the sun. I will never get skin cancer. Cancer is nothing else than the a magnetic field of the cell that spins clockwise. A healthy cell spins counterclockwise. And now again in the graph, you can live without cancer. That's why my meetup is called Kiss Your Cancer Goodbye. Because if you understand this, you'll never have cancer in your life. Everybody has cancer at least six or seven times in a lifetime. It's on how we feed the cancer that it develops and becomes what people know and, and they have to do chemotherapy and all that. So I highly suggest that you want to uh, get this graph. Go to uh, the website called themucuslessdiet.com uh, and go to um, uh, Kiss You Cancer Goodbye, I believe, and you'll see this graph in large print. So you can refer to this, uh, to this graph there. It was a pleasure to introduce you to this uh, free radical meeting, and I hope you enjoy.
looking forward to the next time. Too. Thank you. <laughs> you're so far ahead of most people. Yeah. You can't Please. expect them to, you're like, come on, clean your gut up. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good to say, but you can't expect them, most people that are like, you gotta, we gotta figure a way out to help them. Well, fasting, the whole, the whole just United States. Yourself. Yeah. No, but the whole United States now is all in, connected with the health insurance now. So we're all tax paying into the system, and people who eat and are very overweight and don't care about themselves and they get cancers, and we're all going to pay for that. And the whole system's going to be weighted down by that. But you can't go, you can't be like, they won't take it.